Hello, hello. Can we turn, oh, turn my volume on. We are live. Let's see if anyone joins. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, yeah, okay. there's lots of people joining. That's fun. Hey guys. Hello, hello, hello. Tell me where you're from. I'm in State College, Pennsylvania right now. It rained earlier. Yeah. So I have just a couple of things to talk about, and then I figure we do a Q&A because why not? Oh, my gosh, going so fast. England, Michigan, Naples, Florida, North Carolina, California, Terre Haute, Indiana. I read a story about you guys and your crow problem. <laughs> uh, Michigan, hello. Ariana from Idaho. UK, Houston, Cuba, huh? Ohio, Texas, California too, Missouri, Scotland, Washington State, Nevada. Wow. Y'all are from Nashville. That's awesome. Arizona, PA. Woo. San Diego. Awesome. My friend lives there. Arizona, Oregon. Awesome. New York, Wells, Philippines. Oh my goodness. Y'all are from everywhere. Okay. So, <laughs> hey Trista. <laughs> so, I want to say a couple of things. So, first of all, um, thank you for being patient with me. Wait, pumpkin face, did you see the Lion King trailer? I think I did. I'm actually not sure if I have watched that or not. I watched the Aladdin one. I don't think I've watched that yet. Hey Zach, what's up? Um, Okay, so like I was saying, thank you for being patient with me. I have not been feeling the best over the past like two months or so. I'm on the mend now, getting better. Um, but because of that, I have just been kind of doing the minimum with things. So for this channel, that's meant uh, replying to your comments. Um, but I have not been actually like filming, editing, uploading, all of that stuff. Um, so one thing is... I have pink hair. Uh, you can't really see it on here. It looks very faded, but in real life, it is very, very pink. If you follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen it. It's my most liked photo, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, if you don't follow me, it's at Olivia underscore Simone. I don't post that often, so I won't be annoying in your feed. <laughs> but yeah, I have pink hair, so I'm very, 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 very excited. Um, another thing I wanted to say is I got a P.O. box. Well, it's not, it's not technically a P.O. box. It's a personal mailbox. So I did put the address down in the description box below. Um, so yeah, you can rent out mailboxes at the UPS store and that's a lot more convenient than for me to go downtown and go to the post office P.O. box. Um, so that's mainly just for like, um, when companies and brands want to send me stuff, I just, I'm tired of giving them like my home address because you know I don't know who these people are so I have that so I just want to let you know sometimes people like sending things can y'all hear me okay um anyway sometimes the chat stop sometimes people like sending things so I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not expecting anything but thought you should know okay is this working can you guys comment if you can like hear me and everything Okay, you can hear me. Okay, awesome. Okay, so <laughs> I am going to Disney. I know I'm not doing another program. I'm not working for them again. But tonight I booked my plane ticket and my five-day park hopper for May 10th through 15th. So I'm flying the 10th and the 15th. I'll be at the park in between those days. I'm very, very excited. I'm going with my friend Trista. Um, and I'm staying with my friend Danielle. Hopefully I can see my friend Bobby. I think Ryder and Evan, I think their program ends May 6th. So I don't think I'm going to get to see them, which is a little bit devastating. Um, but I know that Ryder's fiance graduates in May so I don't know if they are planning a Disney trip for after that it's so, like it's possible we might see each other but it's also possible that I'm just going to miss them um unless evidence of staying down there I don't really know 
But yeah, so I'm going to Disney World. Very excited about that. Um, in literally a month, like we, my friend Tristan and I, <laughs> can't wait to ride dinosaur with you too, girl. Um, we have been planning this. Today she said since December. Um, yeah, so we've been planning it for a while. Finally bought the tickets today. It's all working out. It's crazy. So I'm excited about that. Um, I will be doing a video on how I'm planning my vacation since this, this is the first time I'm going to Disney World, not as a cast member. Um, yeah. Someone said, oh, well, only 29 people on the chat. Shows me that I have 101 people on the chat. But um, anyway, so um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, but I'm going to be doing videos about like what pack, what I'm packing for Disney since people ask me that. Um, what's in my park bag? Things like that. Where are you going to stay? I'm staying with my friend at her house. So, Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to like announce before we want to do like a Q and A if if y'all want to do that. Um, someone asked me or commented on something earlier, asked if I had a Patreon account because I did mention that um, last live stream. Um, no, I've decided not to do that for now just because I don't even have time to. Um, post videos regularly at the moment. And so with the Patreon, you're supposed to like give people extra content on that. And like, I don't feel like I can do that at this time. So not doing Patreon. Um, there is super chat on here. Um, like I said, I'm opening a PO box. So yeah. Um, someone said, where, when am I going again? I'm going May 10th through 15th. So I will be in the parks. Very excited. Yeah. Have you ever been to New York? No, I have not. Um, one of my friends here used to work in New York. So eventually we want to do a trip probably sometime next year. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll do Q&A stuff now. So if you have a question, comment it in the chat box. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, okay. This is... Eh. Disneyland or World? I'm going to Disney World. I also prefer Disney World. Um, I've said it before, but Space Mountain, Haunted Mansion. Um, there's something else. Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean. Those are all better at Disneyland. So way better there. But in terms of parks, I've spent a lot more time at Disney World <laughs> than I have at Disneyland. So I'm a Disney World girl. What's your favorite ride? I love... Sorry, guys, my mind keeps blinking. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I love that one. Holly, you're going to be there May 8th through the 14th. Yay! If you see me, come say hi. Um, yeah, on my, um, on my program this last summer, lots of people came up, said hi, got pictures. So if you guys see me while I'm in the parks this summer, feel free to come up. If I'm vlogging and you want to be in the vlog, we can do that. But yeah. Um, yeah, actually a girl recognized me in Coles the other day, like here in state college. So that was kind of funny. Can we send you letters? Of course. If you guys want to send me letters or postcards or anything, you don't have to, of course, but you can, that's what this mailbox is for. That's why I am telling you guys about it. Um, so feel free to do that. I get text message alerts when something gets delivered there. So I don't have to like check it constantly, which is nice. Lucy, when are you graduating? Um, I'll be graduating with my master's next May. Um, if I can finish my thesis in time, if not, then next August. And then I'll be applying to PhD programs. So I'll be done, done with school in four years, hopefully. So yeah, a very long time. Are you going to Toy Story Land? Probably. Um, yeah, probably want to ride Slinky Dog and stuff. I was able to go to a cast preview of it back when it was opening <laughs> over the summer. And I've like walked in it, but it was so crowded. So hopefully, hopefully, yes. I'm so excited to see Flower and Garden Festival. I've never seen Flower and Garden. My first program, they were doing um, food and wine. But I just been diagnosed with all my allergies. So I like literally couldn't enjoy it at all. And this last time, 
the day that I had traditions, no. The day after I had, no. Okay, within the first three days of me having my blue ID and being able to get into the parks is when Flower and Garden ended. And um, so I wasn't able to go and see it, but I'm very excited because I've watched vlogs about it and it looks so pretty. I'm so excited to take pictures and stuff. And Trista, oh, thanks. <laughs> Trista says she'll be the photographer for me. But um, since she's an AP, she has PhotoPath, which is really cool. So hopefully we can get lots of cute photos so I can Disney up my Instagram. It's so hard because like on my program, especially this summer, we were all like, yes, let's take pictures of each other. Let's make sure to, you know, what's the word? We wanted to just be better at our Instagram feeds. Like we wanted, we wanted to be better at that. So we were like, yes, let's take pictures, different poses, all the walls, whatever. Even if we weren't doing anything, like get a picture, document this. And since I've moved here, um, pe like, people in my everyday life don't want to just take pictures but I'm like there's a brick wall let's take a picture there's a mural let's take a picture it's sunny outside let's take a picture so that's been rough not having people who are all like not that I've asked them like oh will you take a picture of me but if they don't know where I'm coming from like with coming from Disney and everything then uh yeah a little weird <laughs> What restaurants are you going to eat at in the parks? So we might, yes, well, so we might be eating at, Trista, what's it called? Um, we might be eating at the place that has the Snow Queen and Snow White, I think. I don't know. It might be at Saratoga Springs. We're eating there. Um, we might do Be Our Guest. Not sure. Storybook Dining. That is, I, I think. I don't know. That was the plan a little while ago. We'll see. It's flexible. Um, doing that, I definitely want to eat in Epcot during the festival. Um, where else we're eating? <laughs> I need to get one of those giant, like, ice cream. Oh, I want the, um, there's new, like, Dole Whip stuff. There's one that is like raspberry on top of the pineapple. So I really want that one. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm I'm very, very excited. Um, and what's cool is like, I'm completely paying for this trip from what I've made from this channel, which is really cool. So thank you for watching my videos and funding this next Disney trip so I can vlog more and post more pictures and make more content and see my friends. So Tristan, you tried the up one. How was it? Um, but yeah, so I want to, so what was I saying? So thank you. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm hoping to try lots of snacks since I'm not just on my, uh, like CP paycheck each week where it's like, oh, I would love to spend $7 on that, but I don't know if I can, like, I'll definitely make a budget for myself. Um, I really want to get a, they redid the you are here mugs like at the Starbucks and Disney. So before I didn't really like, I, I have the old animal kingdom one, which I love. Um, I didn't really like any of the other parks ones, but I saw the new designs and I really like the magic kingdom one. So I will probably be getting that. Someone just asked, are you married? No, I am not married. Love you too, Trista. Um, no, this is my sweet 16 ring from my grandma. So. I am not married. <laughs> Meal plans worth it? No clue. I have no idea. Um, I was maybe going to do a meal plan when my family came last trip, but I didn't realize that you have to book the hotel and the dining package as one. You can't book a hotel and then add on a dining package, at least as a cast member, I couldn't do it that way. Um, I don't know if it's different. People are saying meal plans are worth it. Yes, we can. Uh, yes, we can. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I have, I have no idea. So, we did not do a meal plan. Um, yeah, I don't know. People have asked about going to Universal. I went to Dis I went to I went to Universal over my first program. Um, I went just for a day. I was planning on getting an annual pass, but that was when we were going to go during the first week during move-in week when we couldn't get into Disney yet. Then there was a lot of miscommunication. And so we ended up not going to Universal that week. Um, then after that, I was so busy. So I did go once 
but the um the Harry Potter ride, like the one in the castle, was down for refurbishment, which is devastating because that's the only reason why I would go to Universal. I don't like Universal. I um nothing against it. I hear they treat their uh, team members, which is like Disney's cast members, Universal team members, they treat them really well. And I know um I know a lot of people who have worked at both or have switched between the two. So nothing against Universal. I'm just, I don't like amusement parks. So I don't like Six Flags or the Fair or Universal or anything like that. I like Disney because I feel like it's clean and magical and um, I don't know. So I have been, <laughs> sorry. I have been to, <gasps> ah! miss you Sarah. Sorry, my friends are texting me that they're like watching the live stream and stuff. And so, oh, love you so much. So sorry, I'm not trying to ignore my audience, but okay. So it happened to Universal once. And then I've been to the one in Hollywood too, um, or LA, North LA area. Um, yeah, not quite my thing, but I love Harry Potter. So it was really cool to see that. What are you wearing to the parks? Ears, etc. Um, don't know yet. Um, again, I have to decide. Like, I would love to be able to like give back to all the like small shops and the Etsy shops that sell like really cool t-shirts and scrunchies and like all of that. But I just it's so much and it's really hard for me to like justify like being a student and everything, like paying that on something like I don't necessarily need, even though I think it's super cute and like, I want this stuff. Um, and even with the YouTube money, like, yes, I'm paying for the Disney trip, but that's a big chunk of it. And I have to save for like taxes and all of that. Um, so I would love to wear stuff from small shops. So I don't know if that's going to happen. My ears I have with me here. I have my piglet ears, my black sequin ones, my basic red ones and my tangled ones, I believe. Yeah, so I have those, but I have not planned those outfits yet. I have um, I have a lot of school stuff to do <laughs> before I can think about that. Will you ever go to Volcano Bay? Um, for those of you who don't know, Volcano Bay is the water park at Universal. No, I will not. I don't like water parks. I think they're disgusting. Um, they, they creep me out. So <laughs> if it was adults only, <laughs> then maybe. <laughs> <sighs> do, do, do. which harry potter house are you in okay here's the thing y'all when i take the um pottermore quiz it always puts me in gryffindor which i get because i am very much like morals driven but i don't think i'm very courageous or brave um so i might i like kind of identify as like a ravenclaw but like stereotypical ravenclaw like study all the time knows in a book kind of ravenclaw um, but I'm like a mix of both. So yeah, that's a Harry Potter house. I mean, one time someone asked me like, oh, it was, they commented during a live stream and I didn't see it until later when I was like watching back the live stream to make sure I don't need, I didn't need to uh, delete any comments. And someone said, um, Disney or Harry Potter for me, Harry Potter, <laughs> like if Harry Potter world was at Disney, I would request to work there because I know everything about it. I talk in that themed language already. I would love to just wear my little house uniform all day or a Bo Batchins costume because they're blonde. So not all of them, but Flair is blonde. So yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Do you like the magic bands? Cause I think it's part of the magic. I love the magic bands. I think it is so amazing. If you don't know, it's, I have one in my room, but it's basically like a little, like my Fitbit thing here. Um, if you put it on, you can put your park ticket on it. You can put um, your room key, your credit card, your meal plan, your fast passes, your photo pass. I love it. I think it's so awesome. So I love it. I, I have been thinking about purchasing an annual pass because the price, like the price difference between, you know, a couple days park hopper versus an annual pass is like not that much. Um, so I was thinking about doing that, but then I was like, with the cost of flights, 
and everything, especially since I have to fly out of state college. It's like after transferring everything. Um, I don't know if I would be able to go down a lot of times. Diego, thank you for your donation. Hey, Olivia, I just wanted to thank you. I got hired into DCA Awesome in October, and your channel really helped me get through all the craziness I've been experiencing as a cast member. I'm so glad, Diego. So that's Disney's California Adventure. So that's the other, like, side of Disneyland. Um, yay, congrats. That's really awesome. I'm glad my channel has helped you. Um, someone asked on here, is it weird for viewers to come up and take pictures with me? Not at all. That's great. Um, it's fine if you just want to say hi real quick or if you want a picture or if you're just passing, you're like, hey, I watch your YouTube videos. Like, I've gotten all of it. It's all good. So, <sighs> okay, let's see. Parking went up $25. Yikes. Well, Disney World or Disneyland? Disney is confusing. I'm going to Walt Disney World. Olivia, are you a Star Wars fan? Jonathan. Um, <laughs> Don't hate me, you guys. Um, okay, so I've watched four, five, six, one, and maybe part of two. Don't remember it. It's it's not really my cup of tea. I'm just confused the whole time. That being said, I love like in the park itself. I love the stormtroopers. I love the um, what are those things called Ewoks. That's not what I was thinking. Jawas. I love the Jawas. Um, I love like seeing Darth Vader. Like I love the music and like Captain Phasma and all of that stuff. So like I know some random character names from Star Wars, but I'm not like a fan. Um, yeah, not a fan. So if I marry someone who's a fan, then like I'll watch them and become a fan. But if not, I'm, I'm happy living my life. <laughs> When in college should I apply for the DCP? So I do have an entire video on logistics of the DCP to think about. Um, for me, um, I did it, me and two of my roommates did it the first semester of our junior year of college. Um, that was a really good time because if you go before then, you're tempted to just stay down there because you haven't really invested too much into school. But by us already being juniors, we were like, okay, in one year when we graduated, like, we have to go back. We can't stay at Disney. A lot of times people do stay at Disney and that's fine. But a lot of times people drop out of college to stay at Disney. So it just depends on what your priorities are. Um, my one friend did it the first semester of her senior year. Um, my school doesn't let you be gone for your senior year. So I did it first part of my junior year. I really liked it. Um, I feel like second part of your sophomore, second part of your junior year would be really good too. Um, yeah. All depends on what you want to see um, when you're down there, what like holidays and festivals and things like that. Roger, first time at Disneyland soon. What should I do first? Thanks so much for your donation. Um, oh, guys, help me. What should he do first? I definitely think the Indiana Jones ride. It is the best. It is amazing. Highly recommend. Pirates is so good, too. I highly recommend those two and then getting Dole Whip when you're in the mood for a sweet, refreshing treat. Those are my recommendations. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, scrolling through to find questions. Roger, yeah, have a fun time. Oh, Zach, I'd say Star Tours is pretty close to the beginning of the park. Okay, yeah. I'm going to Disney World. What's your favorite treat? I love the... Sorry, moderating comments here. Um, I love the giant double chocolate chip cookie sandwich with vanilla ice cream in the middle. Love that. I get that at... Sorry. It's across from Tusker House, the Animal Kingdom. I love getting that there. Um, and I love Dole Whip. So good. I also love, like, on the way out, especially whenever, like, we went to Disneyland, like, with my family. Um, my sister and I would always get the the Mickey-shaped Rice Krispies covered in chocolate. I get both M&Ms on top. Um, she gets different things every time. That's one of my favorites, especially because it travels really well. Yeah. Oh my God. And the caramel apples. Too many good things. 
would you ever work at Universal? There was a time when I was looking at internships and stuff at Universal. Um, for now, I don't foresee my career being something that a theme park could necessarily utilize. Um, yeah, basically I learned how to do research and stuff. So we'll see. I, um, I also don't want to live in Florida. <laughs> I'm so excited to visit, but I am, I'm, I'm terrified of hurricanes. So, although I will say this like nine months of winter thing here we're having in Pennsylvania is awful. You've been binge watching my videos lately. Thank you. When are you going to Disney? I'm going to Disney May 10th through 15th. I have a five day park hopper. Um, so I land in the afternoon on that Friday. So we're going to try to go that night. Um, we'll see. But I'll be in the parks definitely Saturday through Tuesday. I'm very, very excited. I'm going to comment that just so people are tuning in late know. I'm so pumped, you guys. I have so much stuff going on in May. So I have, oh my God, I have two more weeks of school left. I have two more weeks of school and a week of finals. Um, and then I'm going to Disney. And then um, my dad might come visit me for a few days. So that will be super duper fun. Um, go see things in Pennsylvania that I have not been able to see because. I've been busy. Um, and then I'm going to Washington, D.C. at the end of the month for a conference, which I'm super pumped about. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be busy in May. And then I'm flying back to California. And then I'm my friend and I want to try to see a, the Brad Paisley concert. You know what drives me crazy? So <laughs> all the country concerts, they're, it's just the opposite schedule. So, like, they're going to be in PA at the beginning of the summer, June, July, when I'm not here. And then they're going to be in California at the end of August and September when I'm already here. So that's great. You know, missing Luke Bryan again. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> not to, to be dramatic. Okay. I saw someone's question that I was going to answer. Amanda, let me ask how drug testing works. Um, so some people have comments on my videos. Oh, I've never been drug tested. All of my friends in the college program who have been lifeguard and attractions have been drug tested. Um, safety critical roles have been drug tested. I don't know exactly what they do. I can't say for sure, but that's been my experience with it. Going to Disney World in December. That's so much fun. I hope you enjoy it. It's so magical in December. Like the weather is good at that point. All the Christmas decorations. Oh, I love it. Erica, May 93, you're going that week too. Yay, hope to see you there. Melanie, you're going to be there too. Awesome. Good luck on finals. Thank you. Amber, thank you so much. I love you. I'm vegan. That's awesome. I have the best vegan banana bread recipe if you want it. Well, I, I change everything from the original like, Pinterest post, but so good. Um, one of my good friends here is vegan. So... We have been finding all the vegan places and vegan options here in um, State College. And then I just shared on my Facebook page. If you guys didn't know I have a Facebook page, I'm not super active on it, but it is there. Um, I reposted a link about the vegan options at Disney World. So if you're interested in checking that out, if you're vegan um, or want to try some vegan food, then that is over on my Facebook page. The link should be in the description box. What is the ride you go to first? Oh. That depends. Um, it honestly depends on the day. <laughs> Sorry to be not helpful at all. Um, but honestly, it depends on the day, what my roommates want to do, what our purpose for the park is going, or what our purpose for going to the park that day is. Yeah. Sarah, you have the same problem with concerts. Yes. You go to school in SF, but I'm from Boston. Yep, you feel me, girl. The whole being on two opposite sides of the country. Tough sometimes. Um, okay. Holly, thank you. What park are you planning to go to first? Maybe Animal Kingdom to like 
see everybody and say hi. I think we're going to do that Saturday morning. Um, that first night, I'm not sure if we're going to do Animal Kingdom or if we're going to like try to hit Magic Kingdom and just bounce around and hit like as many rides as we can. Um, but probably that. And then definitely one of the days I just want to spend like the entire day in Epcot, just like living my best life. So I love Epcot. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm planning to do. Um, you have an Insta. I do. It's in the, should be in the description box below. It's at Olivia underscore Simone. Um, if the link doesn't work and takes you to a different person, if you just look up Olivia underscore Simone, that is mine. We're almost at, I, I'm bouncing around 4,600 um, Instagram followers. We're almost at 45,000 subscribers on this account, which is wild. So that's cool. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'll bounce around 4,600 on my IG. Thanks, Diego. How often did you go to the parks as a guest while you were a cast member? So often. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Like, I think I was in the parks every single day of the week, whether I was working or not. So sometimes we'd go before work or... Um, if I had a shift to Magic Kingdom, if I, like, after I ended, I would just hop in, watch Happily Ever After real quick, and then go catch the bus, um, pretty much every day. Sometimes there were weeks where it was like, okay, I have to go to Walmart, I have to do my laundry, I have to go to costuming, like, no fun today. Um, but yeah, went, we went a lot, a lot, a lot. Best perk of the job. Y'all should do a Disney meetup during that week. Yeah, I've never done that before. But if you guys, if there's enough of us who like want to set time, then yeah. Elena, you just got accepted to DCP and merge. That's awesome. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, it at first I was kind of like stressed out because I was like learning everything, but then once it becomes second nature, like you're good. Just remember to breathe, take your time. Yeah. Okay, let me answer. Thank you, James. Love your blogs. Are you doing any more of your grad school blogs for you for the summer? Yes. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning, I've been not feeling the best for the past two months about. So I've just been doing the bare minimum with all this stuff. Um, but I have a few plans for videos and I might just do like an update, like how the semester is going, my first year as a master's student, like all that stuff. Um, a reason I have been doing blogs on that channel, if you guys didn't know, I do have a second channel. I think I just changed the name of it to Olivia's Grad School Vlogs. <laughs> um, link should be in the description. If it's not, I will fix that. Um, but I, the first semester, I would do like week in the life kind of things um, or like weekend. But since the weather has been so cold here and really terrible, I've been afraid to take my camera outside because I thought it would break. The weather is getting better now. Um, so I should vlog. But now it's also getting to the point where it's like, we're getting to the nitty gritty with all the final things. So hopefully I can vlog a few more times, but definitely I'm going to be doing uh, more videos on that channel. Yeah. What was the most magical moment of your DCP programs? Um, I have a whole video on my favorite moments as a cast member. Um, meeting Make-A-Wish Kids was really, really special. So that was, I don't know. <laughs> um that was very magical there were a couple times where these like sweet little children who just did not want to let go of us so that was precious and sweet as well katie would you ever go to disneyland paris um yeah it's it there's so many places i want to go that disneyland paris isn't necessarily like i need to go there but like hopefully i'll get to that point where i go to europe enough where it's like oh yeah, I'm going to Paris. I might as well stop at Disneyland Paris because I've seen everything else here, you know? So yeah, I probably won't be going the first time I'm ever in France. Um, but yeah, I would, yeah, might as well. Why not? I think it'd be fun for like a day. Um, did I? Where, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting like lost. Would you ever go on a Disney cruise? No, but I would not go on any cruise. <laughs> so it's not a Disney thing. It's just a cruise thing. Um, yeah. Someone just said, do you have your own house? 
or is that your dorm or your parents' house? This is my apartment <laughs> um, in Pennsylvania. My family's in California. So yes, this is my place. Are you gonna do any pre-trip vlogs on what to pack, best place to eat, etc.? I do plan on it. So I do plan on doing what to pack, um, what I pack in my park bag. Might wait till I'm actually there with Trista so you guys can get like a couple people's um, point of views. But yes, I do plan on that. So if you guys have anything that you want, um, like want to see specifically, let me know. It's one of those things where it's like, it's hard because sometimes someone might want like a very specific video and it's like, that's great. But if only 10 people are going to watch it, like I need to make something that 10,000, 100,000 people are going to watch. So that's my dilemma right now. Where did you grow up? Where do you want to live? I'm from California, NorCal, Sacramento area. Where do I want to live? I don't know. Maybe Tennessee. We will see. <laughs> Never been to Disney. I hope you can go to Disney soon. Will you ever make videos about psych, as in psychology? Um, I do that on my other channel, of these Grad School Vlogs. So if you want to see videos about that, go check out that channel. Are you doing any more DCM reacts videos? Um, should I? <laughs> if you guys want me to, I will. Um, yeah, they're really fun for me to make. They're like pretty easy for me to make, very low key. Um, so yeah, if you guys like them and there's a specific topic you want to see, let me know and I will make it. The only thing is with the trailers, because I tried doing it for the Aladdin trailer and one other one, but the trailer was just like a minute long. Um, oh, you're from SAC, living in Roseville. Okay, so I'm actually like an hour north of SAC, but I went to Davis. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I love like Rockland and that whole area. Um, okay, I feel like I was in the middle of saying something. I got distracted. I got distracted by a fellow NorCal person. Um, could you do a video on your makeup routine? Um, I appreciate appreciate that, Kaya, but I don't think anyone wants to see my makeup routine. It's very, very basic. <laughs> like I literally put on an eyeshadow with my fingers. Do you get any discounts for an X cast number? No. Um, no. <laughs> Only if you're a current cast member or an annual pass holder or DVC member, so Disney Vacation Club, you get discounts for that. Um, but no, I don't. Do you have any more DCP stories? I've been trying to think of some. I've been trying to think. So one video I want to make is like the times I got in trouble at Disney. Um, so I'm like ugh, the other day I had thought of two or three situations where I thought, man, that would be a good video. But I don't I can't remember them now. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of videos like that. I'm trying to think of other stories. The problem is I have stories, but they're like my friends stories and so I don't I don't know I feel like I should ask them first why is my Spotify open on this that is weird okay um yeah let me pull this up I, oh this is the wrong laptop okay I have a list on my other laptop about um whatchamacallit story ideas but yeah a lot of them are like stuff that happened to my friends so yeah would you ever become a DVC member Personally, I would not because um, I'm I don't do a whole timeshare thing. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't do that. I don't like commitment, <laughs> so <laughs> I would not. What TV shows do you like at the moment, y'all? I started The Blacklist a week ago, a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, I think I'm on the last, uh, not video. Last episode of season one. I'm so sorry. I keep shaking my desk. Um, it is so, so good. Like if you guys are a fan of the Jason Bourne series, like CIA spy stuff, but you also like detective shows, like so good. I'm also rewatching The Office for the second time this year, which is, I don't think that's the healthiest, but it's just a nice like hearted show to like have on the screen. <laughs> Just got here going Disney for fun or to work for fun, Casper. So I'm taking a Disney trip 
to Disney World, um, May 10th through 15th. I'm going to be in the parks definitely Saturday through Tuesday. So yes, not uh, not working there again. Probably won't work there again. Um, but yeah, I'm visiting, so I'm excited. Is getting a job with Disney hard? I want to be a character designer for Pixar when I'm older, but would it be too difficult to get? Well, nothing's too difficult to get. I mean, people do it every single day. All you have to do is work hard, hope that they have that position open, take internships, get as much experience as you can. Realize that if you get turned down the first time, like that's not the end of the world. Um, a lot of people have to apply multiple times or get different job experience or things like that. So definitely not too hard. Oh, I did watch Parks and Rec um, the first six weeks. I binge watched it the first six weeks of the semester. I didn't like it at first, but once I got to like season two, like halfway through, I really liked it. Uh, I feel like someone had a question I was going to answer. I can't. Okay, as a former DCP member, any advice for a future DCP member? Um, yes, Colin. So before you apply, definitely make sure you stay, you watch all the current people's application process. So DCP vloggers, I feel like everybody vlogs now. So there should be a lot of material out there on what the application process is like. It does change sometimes. And so it's really important to make sure you're not watching my stuff. You know, if you're applying in 20, 26 uh it's gonna be no use watching stuff from 2016 so stay up to date on that um clean up your social media um yeah do well in school just yeah that's my advice <laughs> was it hard to get into grad school of course it was <laughs> of course it was worked really hard all of college and took the gre and all of that so yes uh The CMs work so hard to make our trips magical. What have guests done for you that has really made your day? Let me think about that, Nick. Um, one time, <laughs> so this one I was a performer. Um, but anyway, a family, I was at Hollywood and Dine. I was walking around with Mickey that night and this family um, came up to Mickey and they were like, Mickey, we are so thankful for you and for Disney World. Um, my husband and I, I think they took like a trip there, which is where he proposed and they took their honeymoon there. And now they bring their kids there. And like, they were just like, oh my gosh, so grateful. So it was so magical. And they handmade these ornaments and gave it to like Mickey and Daisy and like all the characters there that night. Um, they wrote a little message on the back, like from, I forget their last name, but like, I, yeah. Mickey let me hold on to the ornament. And so um, I put on my tree every year. So that was a very magical thing. Yeah. Brian, have you considered having a day where you don't go in the parks and just resort hop? On my program, we definitely did that. Um, this time around, I'm not. Um, Cause yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got tickets for all the days. So yeah. Marsha Dowman, thank you. I'm glad you like my channel. Ah, I'm so behind on these. Okay. Oh, Zach, going back to IG accounts, do you look at other DCP accounts who at places and poses they're doing? Definitely. Um, so I follow a few accounts from different cast member friends or um, like, what are they called? I don't know. Instagram influencers. Um, and then we all, we always like search location hashtags, like bubblegum wall and things like that. So yes, yeah, so we definitely look there for inspiration. Hello from Seattle. Hello. What's your favorite ride? I love Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Soarin' and uh, Flight of Passage and Everest. I like them all. Okay. Thank you guys for hanging out. I see a couple of you guys are saying you have to go. Um, Wow, Michael, you are really aggressive. I'm going to hide you from my channel. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, I'll hang out here for like 15 more minutes, make an hour long live stream, because why not? If you guys, anyway, 
<gasps> Would you ever try to get a character's autograph for someone who can't get to Disney World? Um, for like a family member or something, sure. Um, if a random person was like, hey, get me Aurora's art autograph, um, I wouldn't wait in line for that. But if like a family member or something wanted it. Idea of passing the line along Disney lines. Oh, passing the time. Um, <laughs> telling stories, uh, the game heads up is really fun. Yeah, I don't know what else. <laughs> um, Elizabeth, what do you want to do as a career? Um, for right now, I'm thinking professor at a either a small public university, like eight to 14,000 people, um, or, or like a small private university. <laughs> Small private Christian university. Um, I would like to be a professor there, teach media effects, media psychology, research methods in social science. Um, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to be an author as well. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm an animator. Are you still doing Disney stories? Um, yes, it's just I've told you guys a lot of them. <laughs> Not only are there however many videos, but there's usually multiple stories per video. So it's quite a lot considering I've worked there for a total of like seven months of my life. Six, seven months of my life. Um, so I'm I'm trying to rack my brain for like different weird experiences that I've had or different stories. Um, like I mentioned earlier, um I have a lot of stories that like my friends went through. And so I'm like, oh, I don't really want to share those because it's their stories, but maybe I'll ask them. Do you still work for Disney? Nope, I do not. Which genre of book are you interested in writing? So I'm currently working on a young adult novel at the moment. I have not worked on it like at all this year, um, but I'm hoping to get like my first draft done this summer. So I'm writing that one. And then my friends and I are writing this other one. Uh, it's a collaborative effort. Uh, the goal is to get it turned into a Hallmark movie. I don't know if I've told you guys about this before, but um, we are, the goal is to get it to a Hallmark movie, right? So originally the Hallmark website, when we looked up the requirements for submitting stories, this was back in 2012 or 2013, we were in high school and study hall looking this up. Um, you could submit like a storyline or a completed like book. So we were like, awesome. Then they changed it to where you had to have an agent or a lawyer submit it. And so we were like, that's fine. Like, we got one. It's fine. Now you can only submit story ideas if it's a published book. So we're working on that. It's like a love story movie. It's it's like a mystery. It would be on like Hallmark's movies and mysteries. That is one of them that we're that we're writing. So yeah, I've got my one young adult novel and then that one that we've been working on forever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Uh, have you ever watched any Disney Channel shows when I was a kid? Yeah. I loved That So Raven. That was my jam. I love her. I still say, oh, snap. Um, so yeah, love her. Um, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, Hannah Montana. The good old days, y'all. I tried to watch, I watched a couple episodes of Liv and Maddie um, because I was like, I should be in on what's current on Disney. And then I think I switched to like white collar suits or something. <laughs> Martina, I'm, hi, I'm from Poland. Love to watch your lives. Kisses. Hi, thank you. I'm so glad you like to watch my channel, Poland. Wow, far. Dark Lord, are you going to be vlogging any of your trip days there? Yes, we will be vlogging the entire time. Um, we might do a live stream while we're down there. We're going to hopefully get some other videos to post later. Lots of pictures. Yes. A fill of the future? Yes. What was your favorite Disney original movie? Oh, I love Ice Princess, where she's like, do I go to Harvard? Do I skate? 
she can do both. But anyway, I love that one. What's another one that I love? I can't think of the only one that's coming to mind, which I don't love this movie. I've just the like double teamed one where they're like twin basketball players are super tall and one hurts their ankle. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I like a lot of, I like a lot of the Disney channel original movies. Beth, if you have a British accent, are you less likely to become a cast member? Not at all. We have cast members from all over the world. Yes, Hannah Montana. Yes. How do you feel about the Jonas Brothers being back and Miley Cyrus going uncrazy and cutting her hair like Hannah Montana? I don't think she cut her hair, right? She just put on her wig for a couple of videos. Um, the Joe Bros. Oh, I'm so excited. I <laughs> walked into class because their song, I don't remember the exact date it came out, but it was like Thursday night at midnight or technically like Friday morning, like midnight. And it came out and I listened to it and I was so pumped that next morning. I was just listening to it and listening to it. And I go into school and I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, did you listen to the new Jonas Brothers song? And everyone was like, they're still a band. And I was like, they got back together last night. And yeah, I mean, I don't blame them. A lot of them are from another country. Stuck in the suburbs. Yes, I do love that movie. Um, a lot of from another country are like older than me. So they might not care about that. But um love the Jonas Brothers apparently they were in state college last weekend and I didn't know it so I'm <sighs> devastated about that oh, so many comments oh something else I wanted to mention real quick so my hair gosh you can't see it in this light if you go to my Instagram um though you'll be able to see the color of it I got this done four weeks ago and again it looks so washed out but I promise you it's not it's just because the lighting I look washed out right now um but the way I keep it in is I use something called overtone conditioner. So this is what it looks like. And it actually puts in color. It puts color into your hair every time you wash it. Um, it's something that I had done a lot of research about beforehand. It's vegan, animal cruelty free, all of that stuff. So anyway, there's a link down below if you guys want to check out the website um, for it. I like the stuff. I need to order some more soon. Um, but yeah, just so you know, if you have colored hair or anything about getting colored hair okay you ever had a problem that made you cry when you used to work at disney oh girl every day <laughs> um during my first program the uh, so i started work i started training us up at the beginning of september um it wasn't until the first week of november that i felt like super comfortable and confident in my job so there were lots of cries during lunch breaks during that time um and then there have been a couple moments this last program where I just had to go backstage for a moment, and, like breathe, mainly during the emergency situations or if someone was really rude. Um, yeah, so that was the times. Are you vegan? I was for a couple months last year. I was for about five months last year that I was vegetarian, and now I'm pescatarian. But like, if I want a hamburger, like I'll have it. Um, but mainly pescatarian. Um. Yes, but a lot of the stuff I eat is vegan. So like the protein bars I have are vegan. Um, I drink smoothies. Okay, I know everyone has smoothies, but <laughs> like smoothies and like avocado toast are some of like the two main things I have for breakfast. Um, so a lot of my diet is like vegan, but I'm not like a strict vegan. How old are you? I'm 22. It's my Taylor Swift year. Feeling 22. Is it a safe environment to work in Orlando? Is it dangerous? Um, I always felt safe in Orlando. Like, of course, if you go to a bad park, if you're by yourself at 3 a.m., like, that's probably not a great idea, but I always felt safe there. Granted, I was usually on Disney property. Um, I don't know. When I went to Celebration, it was fine. Um, the places I went off campus were always fine. So I always felt safe in Orlando. Um, but obviously it depends on the situation that you're in, right? Elizabeth, what made you interested in becoming a professor? So when I was younger, I wanted to be a high school history teacher. Um, I wanted to do that so that I could coach gymnastics in the evenings. Um, and then, I don't know, I once I got to college, I just really loved psychology. Um, and at high school, they, may, they might have like AP psych, but not necessarily like 
it's not like, oh, I can be teaching three or four different classes that are all around psychology. Um, and so then I was going to get my master's and be a therapist. But then I took a class and realized if I talk to depressed and anxious people all day long, then I'm going to turn into a depressed, anxious mess. So <laughs> I decided not to do that. And then I was going to do something else that was like corporate stuff, like industry. Um, decided against that. And it was very last minute decision to apply for media effects programs. Um, and do this route. So <laughs> on this route. Oh. Do you make friends easily wherever you go? Um, <laughs> hard question. At Disney, yes, here it's been fine. Um, but there have been other situations where I've just not had anything in common with anyone. So kind of like a fake friend not not fake but like um sur like kind of surface level like friends but i don't know yeah so <laughs> no <laughs> love your face thank you tips for brand new youtubers um post once a week um try to figure out what content your audience wants make sure to niche down as much as you can um, have a very specific topic, like as much as you can do your best with the equipment that you have. So if you're filming with your front facing camera, that's fine. If you're filming with your laptop, that's fine. But make sure you're sitting in a window for natural light. You know, don't like, don't sit in your dark bedroom and film a video, you know? Um, so yeah, those are some of my tips for new YouTubers. Um, have you gone to Disneyland? I have, I've been four times, five four, four times. Two were during my senior year of high school and then two were when I was um, younger, so. Are you a social person around strangers? I'm a huge introvert. I'm not very social. Um, I don't like being <laughs> around strangers at all. Um, that being said, like if I'm at Disney and you're like, hey, I watch your videos and I'm going to be friendly. I'm not going to be like weird about it. But that's a different setting. Like I'm at Disney. I feel safe. Like I know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, if I'm just like, I don't know. I don't like being in situations where I don't know anybody. Um, what's your relationship status? Single. <laughs> Had some stuff in the works, but did not pan out. So single. Um, da, da, da. Okay, we've got about three more minutes. Thank you guys for tuning in and everything. Um, yeah, so to recap, in case you joined late, I'm going to Disney World for vacation, uh, not to work, May 10th through 15th. So I'll be in the parks the Saturday through the Tuesday for sure. Um, I opened up a PO box. It's called a personal mailbox. Um, so the address is down below. You don't have to send me anything by any means, but is there um, if you want to. Um, my hair is pink. You should follow me on Instagram <laughs> to see that pink hair. It looks so, I'm so upset at how washed out it looks. What if I turn this? Does that look better? Yeah. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Neat. You love shopping at Kmart. Oh, that is awesome. I didn't know Kmart was still around. We have Walmart, so I'm there a lot. Have you guys tried Walmart grocery pickup? <gasps> Life changing. I love it. It kind of sucks that you have to have like $30 worth of stuff, but I don't know. I can usually add like a toiletry or something that like bumps up the, the cost to that, but. Walmart grocery pickup, life changing. <laughs> what are the best times to go to Disney? Definitely any time that's not a holiday. Um, so in between Veterans Day and Thanksgiving is a really good time. After the first, like after Thanksgiving, but before everyone gets out for Christmas. January is pretty good. February is good. Um, March and April is all spring break, and then the beginning of May is pretty good. But then once you get to Memorial Day, it gets busy again. So those are some times. Holly said, bye. Hope to see you too. <laughs> Think pink. Yep. Um, did you do your hair? I 
uh, I went to a salon and got my hair done, but like I upkeep it with the overtone. Um, and now I had a hotel. No, this is my apartment. Um, I have an apartment tour video on my other channel if you guys want to see it. But yeah, you look like Debbie from Zach and Cody. Debbie, um, she was in she was in a weird movie on Netflix. Is that Debbie? Debbie Ryan? Is that her name? Thank you if that's who you're talking about. What's your Instagram? Dang it. So the link is not working. It's Olivia underscore Simone. I will fix the link. Um, okay, I think I'm going to sign off now. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and tuning in and sending in the super chats and commenting so much. Um, thank you so much. Thanks for being patient with me over this past semester really as I have not been uploading um I am going to try to get better at that can't promise one next week but hopefully the next week I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see I'm finishing up with school so that's my priority um at the moment but yeah I plan on vlogging at Disney so if there's any um any videos you guys want to see make sure to leave that in the comments and I will see you guys next time have an awesome day keep you out loud Bye!